<coughs> hey y'all, welcome to Blue Black and Doors channel with another episode of Dicking Around in the Shed Cooking Edition. Run that intro while I go get over to the makeshift kitchen. <laughs> We're gonna make cornbread. Cornbread. This is a kind of a, a kind of a spicy onion cornbread, I guess you would call it. Description. The the, uh, the recipe is going to be down in the description. Uh, I already mixed my dry up, so we're going to need. Oh yeah. First, you start with about a. Uh, hold on. Sorry about that. It's a 11 inch, 10 inch. I'm assuming. Uh, 11. I'm going to say 10 and a half. Well, or 11. But anyway, it's a, it's a well southern cured uh, season. That's what I'm looking for. Season pan. And if you don't know what season means, Google it. Cast iron season. That means it's been see well used. Uh, this is a. You can either use grease it with lard or Crisco. Or it's the best. Or you can use baking grease if you got any. So we need to pre first we need to preheat the oven to 450 degrees. And I'll put while I'm doing while it's preheating, I put that in the in the oven. So let's do that. Ah, oh, see the kit the, 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 the skillet's gone. So next step, you're gonna take some uh Aunt your Mama or, or Martha White's flour. You need a cup of excuse me, a cup of uh all-purpose flour, a cup of cornmeal. You're gonna need a tablespoon of sugar. That's right, it's kind of sweet. We like our stuff sweet here in the south. Eating a tablespoon of sugar, two, te two teaspoons of baking powder. Baking, yeah, baking powder. Don't get baking soda. It don't work. And a teaspoon of sugar. And that's our dry ingredients. And I already, you know, I like to mix your dry ingredients up. Alright, let me move this. All right. You're going to need a cup of milk, a cup of whole milk. I like whole milk, none of that 2% crap. A cup of milk, a little more. You don't, you don't want uh, dry cornmeal, I mean dry cornbread. So we get that good and mixed up. Should have had the overhead camera going. Anyway, we're gonna mix this up real good. Get it good and mixed up. Put your lid back on your milk. You don't want it spilling. So I'm gonna be crying over it. So I'm gonna mix this up real good. Put your lid back on your milk. Put that done, you need a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Alright, quarter cup of vegetable oil. Bye bye. Bam! Ain't that so much? Cooking show will take a bye bye a lot. I'll make my oil in real good. You're gonna need two eggs, large. Get them all mixed up, break that yolk up real good. All right, here comes the good stuff. This is Vidalia onion, like I said, Vidalia is Georgia. Sweet onions, or you can use red onions, whatever onions you got. And uh, these are diced jalapenos. You chop up two, two jalapenos or three, and depending on how hot you want it, I like about two, give or take. It's like two big forks full, forks full out of it. 
So we, we're going to add that in here. Get my onions all chopped up. You dice your onions. Unless you want real big pieces of onions. Just however you like your onions. We'll get that in there. Ooh, he's allowed. Mmm. You know, they say it. They say, uh, what do they say? Put your lid back on your oil. You don't want to spill your oil. Say, ooh, this is good. Slap your mama. I don't recommend you slap your mama. She'll slap you back. All right. Should get up bigger. Bunch. Need a, you can do a dash of pepper. On y'all. <laughs> like some Worcestershire sauce. You can dash it in there. A couple of dashes. You wix it all up real good. Time you get all this. That skillet should be done. Hopefully. See. Oh. Well, it didn't work. Oven ain't preheated yet. I guess t the elevation memory, if you in higher elevation, lower elevation might take longer for your oven to cook. So we're gonna see if it's done now. That's the skillet. It's good and hot. Preheated. 350. I mean, 450 degrees. Remember, a cast iron skillet's gonna be extra hot. So we pour that in there, you can hear it sizzling. Ooh, that means it's already cooked. Look at that golden. Try to get all the onions out, bell, and get everything out. <laughs> it's me, it's me, it's Arnie Steve. So, uh, as you can see, it's done. Ooh, it looks good. So let's pop that in the oven for about 25 minutes. Well, we got that cooking. Now we'll wait 25 minutes or 25 to 30 minutes, give or take. Use it about 25 and golden brown. And now we'll just wait. see kind of crusty around the edge let's see what it looks like I like to put a plate on top try not to burn yourself with a skillet because it is hot just come out of 40 feet 450 degree oven uh, oh. now is that not pretty let me flip it up let's see still a little warm I like there you go look at that now, if that's not perfect cornbread, mmm, on the one way to know, I'm slice a little piece off. What is a way, another way to know, you stick your knife down in the middle, and if it don't stick to it, it's done. You can use a toothpick or what, what have you. See, the pan's ready for its next thing. That's all you do to it. Don't do nothing else to it. As you can see, let me come around here. So you can see the onion jalapenos in it. Should have had some butter out here. Mmm. 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 That is good. Woo! Mmm.
Ah, it's good cornbread. Can you check out this video? <coughs> Jalapeno. Check out this video and this one. Hit subscribe button. Check. <coughs> and we get COVID. <coughs> get choked on cornbread. Bye, you.